people of YouTube, my name is Steve Gray, this is Gray's Guitars, and thank you for watching. Today we are going to be talking about some boutique picks again. Uh, it's been a little while here. A nice little article popped up on, uh, what do we got, Guitar World News here. So, new Utterson Guitar Pick Store allows you to buy boutique plectrums from across the plectroverse. Pretty pretty crappy title, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Heavy Wrapping's new marketplace offers picks from global workshops under one virtual roofing, giving guitarists unprecedented access to a huge array of plectrums. And this site doesn't have that many on it right now. I'll, I'm giving you the heads up right now. Uh, having previously operated as a close-knit community celebrating the works of pick makers from all corners of the globe with reviews and interviews, Heavy Repping has announced it has expanded its site, opening the virtual doors to its boutique store of artisan guitar picks to the public. Uh, he actually used to do this guy's decent guy. He's got a YouTube channel, which for whatever reason, uh, they don't actually mention at all in the article, giving him no publicity whatsoever. He's pretty, pretty small. I think he's got like 600 and some odd subscribers right now. A little bit bigger than I am. Uh, con <clears throat> conceived, created, and launched by lifelong guitarist John Tron Davidson. Heavy Reppin, HR exclamation point for sure, aims to collaborate the best picks from around the world, giving guitarist access to comprehensive catalog of Guitar World's best plectrums. Features offering for master craftspeople, the online store seeks to pair you with a perfect pick for your playing style to get the sound you want, with everything from injected molded plastic to handcrafted wooden plectrums now available for purchase. Brands already on board include Ace Performance Picks, RKM Plectra, Dragon Picks, and Pictrum, among others. Uh, I think I've heard of Dragon Picks before. Other ones, not so much. Of the boutique store Davidson, I created HR to help musicians of all kind uh, connect as deeply as possible with their instruments. One of the most fundamental ways to do that is with the pick. And I was shocked to discover uh, some of these unbelievable makers are currently hardly known by the music community. And yeah, I mean, a lot, the, the main two I feel like for boutique picks that a lot of people are aware of are Gravity Guitar Picks and uh, V Picks, which are not on the website, just so you know. Uh, continued Davidson, I want these artisans to be fully seen and appreciate rather than being scattered across the internet. Is the industry's best kept secret. Getting the right picks changed my interaction and my confidence on the guitar, and I want other people to have the experience. It doesn't matter if the pick costs a penny or a million pounds, it's what it does for the player that matters. I've seen firsthand that the right pick can profoundly change any musician's playing. Artisanal pick makers have convened for the launch of HR Plectroverse, with each company offering a wide variety of designs, styles, materials, and thicknesses, as well as interviews with those who's made them. To browse the category, head over here, uh, which is, this is the website. So these are all the brands. Um, most of these don't have, the reason most of these are here is because the bulk of these you can find on Etsy. Uh, Dragon, they actually have their own website as well, but you know, you might as well throw, this is probably the most popular of the brands that I found on his website. And most of these picks, it's, you know, a variety. If we click on Dragon picks, they're, they're the same price, I believe. So there's not um, a major difference if we look here. Let's see, Dragon Skin, Talon, let's go and Google Dragon Picks again and see if the prices match up, at least the same. Because if they're not the same, then what's the point of buying them off this website if they aren't exactly the same thing? So let's see here, premium lineup. Let's see if we can find what we got. Let's just do order picks because then we can actually find it. Example gallery. Start your order. So yeah, maybe it is a possibility that these are just these one shape. Uh, yeah, I'll go with store. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, it is a possibility that these are just a couple of different shapes. And that maybe it is a possibility that they have exclusives. Yeah, it looks like, wow, a three pack of these things is $40. Uh, but it looks like Dragon Pick. Dragon Pick is this Dragons. Oh different company that's a little tricky um especially right there with a brand new website because i thought of dragons with an s this is dragon singular dragon pick not dragons so everything is that you see dragon hearts pick dragon's heart pick but um oh there you go etsy 
a lot of these companies I've noticed are selling their products on Etsy. They're not really in your world. So there we go. Okay, so Dragon Skin Top Seller. Dragon Skin. Oh, actually, it is slightly less expensive. I'm assuming you also have to pay shipping for these. So let's just click on one of these to see uh, if there is a shipping fee. And it's not telling me the shipping fee if there is one. We'll just add it to the cart. Uh, let's see. View cart. Yeah, it doesn't say shipping. Holy crap. Okay, you know what? I am now... Uh, I don't know where this is coming from, but if it's $28 to ship a single pick to the USA, I don't, I don't see that this is going to be very popular. Uh, that is, that is $43 for a guitar pick. That is ridiculous. It just says United States. Like, this is just a generic United States address. $43. Holy crap. That is way more pricey than I thought. I thought this was going to be like a cool website where... Oh, you know, you can check out all these guitar picks. I mean, e even if that's coming from overseas, there is no way, no way this thing cost $40. I'm going to try the Northern Ghost. These are also on Etsy. Let's let's try this again. We're just going to add, add that to cart. Yeah. Oh, there's only one in stock. Well, let's see. Add to cart. Let's let, let this load and take three days to load. Now, how much is shipping? Oh, uh, let's see. Northern Ghost. Okay, so this is a more reasonable price. That I can do. I can do $3 shipping. Uh, I am not going to be doing $28 shipping when the guitar pick costs $15. So I guess it depends where you are. It depends where these things are coming from. But uh, it's... That is, I'm so, that is just a ridiculous price, I'll be honest with you. I, $28 to ship a guitar pick? No one's paying for that. Uh, I, I really hate to tell you that. And then you can buy, this is the guy's YouTube channel. Uh, the, the, the only major complaints I would say for this website is no link to his YouTube channel, uh, which we will go ahead and pull up here. And that, yeah, the shipping thing threw me off, I'll be honest. I, I, boutique guitar picks are neat. You know, gravity guitar picks, I like them. I have V picks, they're nice as well. It's so REPP, heavy repping. Here we go. And I'm not bashing this guy's channel in any way, shape, or form. He actually has pretty decent content. Uh, you're looking at about 626 subscribers. So that that's why I was confused with this. I was like, why would you not? Maybe they didn't allow him to promote his YouTube channel because it would make sense to promote the YouTube channel. I understand you want to promote the website, all the different types of guitar picks. So if you're looking for something a little different, uh, if you got $50 apparently burning a hole in your pocket, go buy yourself a fancy guitar pick. Uh, some of these are, are more expensive or less expensive than others. Uh, these ones, I think, if I remember, are cool. Yeah, they're like made out of like stones or something. But still, $28 for a pick. Uh, but they're boutique. So, so, I mean, part of it is you're paying for the boutiqueness, the customization, the handmadeness of it. Are the materials $28? Probably not. But uh, how much you want to pay for one of these things is up to you. I have a guitar pick that I paid $14 for, so I am not one to, one to talk. Uh, that is the 6mm Gravity Standard Sunrise pick. And that thing is hefty. But he, like, they didn't say anything about the guy's YouTube channel. I was like, this, this, this is a less-known YouTuber. And why would you not put your YouTube channel in this article if given the opportunity? Because if you're in Guitar World magazine, I'm checking this out almost every day or so, trying to get new videos, new ideas for content like this one today. But why, why, why do either that, or why do they not allow him to, uh, you know, basically show off his channel? Because 622 subscribers and Number one, he is getting endorsements already from Dunlop. They gave him free picks in this video, and now he's getting mentioned in an article. So he's progressively, this guy is going to be progressively getting a little bit bigger. But if you, if you want to know anything about any type of random boutique guitar picks, this this is the dude. Like every video, some sort of funky guitar pick. You know, Dunlop, Gravity, V, and all these other boutique brands I have never heard of at all. 
go check out his channel, go check out the store as well if you're interested. But I just thought this was kind of neat that they there's a store now where you're going to see a lot more brands of boutique guitar picks. Um, my only disappointment as I was, I was like, oh, Gravity V picks, they got to be on there, right? No, Gravity and V picks, uh, they, they do have a good following, both of them. Uh, a lot of people know about them at this point in time. So we'll see if they show up on here. I would I would like to see them, but the thing is, they have their own websites. All these all these companies here, I think these are more like singular people, you know, like a, like an individual person or a couple of people creating the picks. All the stuff is going to be on Etsy, so it is handcrafted stuff. Uh, probably getting decent stuff. Uh, but my question is, like this one, the, the only place you can buy these picks is is here so i mean if you have a problem with the pick i, I don't know like what the return policy is going to be with these things um oh shop policies let's take a look here so ah refund policy in the absolute extreme case you feel you are unsatisfied and not happy uh, with what you received because you felt it was not at all described in the listing or you simply got the wrong product i will happily either refund you or send you the correct product however please understand guitar picks are Extremely personable, subjective thing, and I can't and will not issue a refund simply because a guitar pick I sold you simply didn't fit your playing style. So yeah, I mean, that's that's a decent return policy. Uh, basically, if you get a defective product, you get a new one. That's that's perfectly fine. All products are shipped within five days of purchase, but typically won't take more than three. Take care of getting products in the mail ASAP. So th this is kind of like one of these market, yeah, exactly, like a marketplace provider situations where heavy repping decided, hey, you know, I see all these guitar picks, all these boutique brands all over the place that aren't getting as much love as they should. Let's get them all on the same platform so that way other people can see them, buy them, uh, and enjoy them. So let me know what you think about these boutique guitar picks. Let me know what you think about heavy repping in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future guitar-related videos. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.